Hello everyone, this is Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to learn how to give a good dramatic presentation. Let's get started. Overview. How can you give a great presentation? The answer is simple. Practice. Standing up in front of others and speaking can be intimidating for some. You worry about many things, like you will forget words, or you will freeze on stage and do not know what to do. Professional actors do this successfully every day. They present themselves at auditions. They stand on stage and perform to thousands. They speak with the media and they achieve this through developing skills and practicing. Number one, characters. Decide on what character you will be playing. Try answering these questions to help you develop your character. What's your name? Where are you from? What do you look like? What are you like? Are you brave? Are you shy? Are you friendly? What is your role in the play? Are you the protagonist? That is, the main character. The antagonist. What does your character do in the story? Does he fight the monster? Does he help people? Number two, the events. List the events that happened in your story. Follow the plot diagram. A. Introduction exposition. Beginning of the story, the setting, when and where it happened. B. Rising action. Events building suspense before climax. C. The climax. Turning point. Greatest suspense in the story. D. Fall in action. Events after climax. And finally, E. Resolution. How the story ends with its problem solved. Number three. Organize and deliver. A. List the different scenes in your play. For example, scene one. Narrator talks about the setting. Scene 2. Protagonist talks to another character in the story. Scene 3. Antagonist shows up in the play. Scene 4. Etc. 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 B. Decide whether or not to have a narrator for your story. C. Bring props to your play. They make the situation feel real like glasses, makeup, chairs, toys, hats, wigs, etc. D. Make sure you memorize your lines. It makes the play more realistic. Your purpose here is to make people believe the story is actually a real one. E. Be loud and clear when you act your part. F. Use strong gestures. Emphasizing makes a character come alive. So let's recap. Number one, think of your character. Number two, list events in the story. Number three, organize and deliver. And number four, the most important one, practice, practice, and practice. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Hit the like button if you liked the lesson and you may share the lesson if you liked it. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.